I watched her on um, Laura Koonsberg's new, new uh, show on BBC on Sunday, and she talks in this strange, robotic, very precise so did way. Thatcher, or, until she trained her voice. Thatcher didn't yeah, speak like that. Until she trained her voice. She didn't Thatcher speak like that. had a very annoying voice. It's almost voice. like she like Thatcher's her, had lots of training. Like her though. mind is computing what to say. Yeah. Or what not to well, say. I don't mind somebody thinking. Well, let's take a listen to people know what I'm talking about. Boris, you got Brexit done. You crushed Jeremy Corbyn. You rolled out the vaccine and you stood up to Vladimir Putin. You were admired from Kiev to Carlisle. Now, three of those I, I can sign up to. I actually voted for Boris Johnson precisely to stop Jeremy Corbyn becoming Prime Minister, he would have been even worse. So, tick on that. Tick on Ukraine. You know, I, there's a lot of things... The vaccine rollout, he made a big call with Kate Bingham, which was proven to be entirely correct. There are things that you can tick in Boris's box. Big things. Yeah, but the damage that was done from the constant lying, the constant dissembling, the constant breach of trust with the British public, culminating in Partygate with Harvard Downing Street on the lash every night as we're all uh, kept from seeing dying loved ones. And that's what you wanted here, Liz Truss, saying today? Well, no, what I wanted Liz Truss to do today was, was somehow to restore... She did the right thing. She praised her predecessor, which is the normal... Why would you praise someone that literally on. over then... 50 ministers voted because, to get rid of? Because she actually set out what she was praising him for, and you yourself have agreed I with I think it. she did that... And you she yourself only, have agreed She only won this race Could by we... sucking up to Could Boris Johnson. Could we go back to your point about her performance, though? Because I think we've got to talk about Labour a bit more. That is who she's got to beat at the next right. election. And he also is not a brilliant performer. He doesn't have a huge amount of charisma, so it's going to be quite difficult. All right, well, let me bring a neighbour on Labour. Two it... leaders who are not right, so highly Keir... charismatic. Keir Starmer is quite robotic as well, as yeah, a public very, speaker, yeah. there's no question. He's not Mr Charismatic. I don't think he needs to be. If I'm Keir Starmer right now, I'm thinking, you know what the best strategy is? Sit back and let them drive this into the Titanic. Yeah, but we've had that strategy for a good two years from Labour, and it's the reason that they're not 20 points ahead in the polls. I mean, right now, if... Sir Keir, in my opinion, had any sense, he'd be out there calling for, uh, for another general election. That's what he'd be doing. But look, you know, you watch that speech with Liz Truss. She's extremely robotic. She's extremely boring. I don't think she won over the, the Conservative electorate. I think well, those Conservatives, did. as that senior Tory MP told us halfway through this campaign, they would never elect a person of colour. And that's oh, what the issue no. was. She won by default. I'm sorry. I, I uh, really do, no, I really I'm not do, sure I agree with that. No, I, I really do not. The membership I really do clever. not agree with that. You go I'm, I'm, sure I'm very kind of proud of the that. fact. I'm not. Um, although I'm not a Conservative, or I'm not in the Conservative Party anymore, I'm very proud of the fact that in that election, the final two were a woman and somebody of ethnic origin. Yeah. And the trouble with Labour is talks big about those things, delivers nothing. I mean, that is I true. That. That is the Labour that. Party has never had any leader who's not a white bloke. Yeah, correct. I mean, that's just a fact. They bang yeah. on, they virtue signal away about diversity. There's absolutely nothing diverse about Labour leadership ever. But I think it's going to be very interesting on Wednesday at PMQs because he should really, Keir Starmer, tear into her. Mm. He has got so... As, you, as you're opening to this programme, mm. broken Britain, NHS on its knees, social care on its knees, six police forces on special measures, including the Met, the spate of murders, he has got so much ammunition. Honestly, some if, he, young, if, honestly he, if he doesn't win the next election, some, some, he doesn't deserve somebody 